We're going to be recycling this polypropylene using just the fire and this container to melt it in here. And then what we'll do is pour it into one of these pans and then we'll place another one on top of it and that'll give it two flat surfaces. And we can pour this water on the top one to keep it cool. To cut these into smaller pieces so they'll be able to fit in. And we also need to take off all the labels. Now that we got this stuff all cut up, we can go ahead and put it into the pot. We're going to put this on the fire and then once it starts smoking, we're gonna take it off because that means it's hit the upper limit of its temperature and we don't wanna burn it. And then that will be its molten state. When you're working with polypropylene and it starts melting, you definitely don't wanna breathe the fumes. So you wanna wear one of these. We can see it starting to melt. We wanna make sure we're careful with the temperature because we don't wanna burn now it. Now that it's starting to smoke, we're gonna go ahead and take it off the flame. I'm gonna add some more plastic in. Just keep taking it on and off the fire until it's all molten until we can pour. I can definitely feel that it's molten and you can see it's on the stick there. That's a good sign. We're gonna heat it up a little bit more before we cast it. Okay. We're gonna push down on it, make sure everything is flat before we cool it off. Now we're gonna pour the water on it and cool it. That is hot. You can feel that even the water is pretty warm. We'll go ahead and pour off the water. Now that it's cooled off, let's check it out. And I mean, the bottom of this is really flat with some cool colors. It almost looks like marble. That is a really cool color. You have the green, blue, and then just kind of the gray, but it's really nice. It's flat and it's real hard. That turned out really nice. This stuff is pretty flexible, but I was still able to crack it. And I think it's because the little pockets is slag. You see, we have some pockets there, pieces of wood or just pieces of char that got in there. But see like pieces right here, this is some strong plastic. So you'd be able to find which pieces have less slag, use those, but it was still really flexible. It's really good stuff. So just keeping the temperature down will reduce the amount of burning in the plastic and give it more strength. And also next pour, I'd like to do it a little bit thicker, maybe three quarter inch, and that would give it more strength as well. But every time you do this, you learn more. Well, we need a new squeegee and this already has a taper down here. So I think this will work nice. And we'll just scribe in the shape. It definitely cuts nicely. the initial shaping done with the bandsaw and now we just need to sand it up and make these edges straight. Now we'll go ahead and add the hole on the top. Next time we're cutting vinyl now we have a recycled squeegee we can use to lay it down.